latest negative reports concerning a group of Chinese investors interested in providing much-needed funds in way of real estate and other potential revenue investments will not affect new government's decision to continue negotiations with the group until alert reports are substantiated. Honourable Premier Tokitalangi said new government need to officially receive confirmation that the main duo of the group Jack Chen and Mei Hao involved with charges of money laundering, bribery and fraud are charged before it considers another approach. We understand that charges are for um, one of the principles, uh, bribery and uh, bribery and money laundering, and the other was a charge for money laundering and not appearing in court. We understand that Jack Chen was sick and was not able to appear, and that's been resolved now. The newer government uh, continues to work on the commercial aspects of the uh, relationship, and we're happy to continue that as long as Reef are happy to continue with it. The only other thing that I'd like to, to talk about is uh, I talked to a number of people, uh, two, two principals or one principal investor who was interested in, in coming here to investigate the possibilities of investing maybe in the bank, maybe in some real estate and maybe in developing a casino and so on. So uh, those are at preliminary stages at the present moment that we're interested in. in them. I also had some discussions with some people that I knew personally about the possibilities of fish farming here and they're interested. But the angle that we're, we're looking at the present moment is in relation to food security uh, because that's such a major, if you like, investment that people are looking at at the present moment. So we're looking at investors, we're looking at areas for investment and, and we're keen to set up a fish farm here um, and the technology that's required to ensure that we can achieve that. The, the financial aspects of it, one of these friends of mine was, was talking about accessing funds from the Middle East and possibly Japan and China as well. So it, it's just preliminary discussions to present moment to see whether there is potential for us to do that and potential for us to look at investment in the bank that we have here, the newer development bank, or the bank license that we can offer here for developing all those facilities. He also said the incidents with Jack Chen and Mei Hao will not affect New's relationship with Reef Group, who introduced the pair to the government as investors. Are you concerned that there are a lot of um, views, uh, a lot of concerns from the public in regards to the relationship between New and Jack Chen? Well, my concerns are to ensure that, in fact, we are protected, if you wish, from anything of major significance. The, as I understand at the present moment, charges have been laid on on bribery and and uh, money laundering, uh, but none, none of those have gone to court. So it's not it's not uh, something that uh, I I think we we keep an eye on it. We're talking to Reef about it, um, but we've also got an investment up at the Bayer Farm that we require to continue to sell products to China or to Japan and so on. So we're continuing to monitor the situation and ensure that we have the factual information in front of us rather than worry about people speculating at the scene or anywhere else. At the present moment, we're waiting to find out what the court says with respect to the um, money laundering charges, as I understand it, the bribery charges. Um, and until that factual information is presented before the courts and and they decided that it's proven, then we'll, we'll review our position and, and thing. For me, this is a commercial op, uh, commercial uh, arrangement, um, and it's hard to tell sometimes whether um, any businessman overseas, you know, uh, provides bona fides that we want to ensure that we are we are protected. But you know, after discussions with Reef. And they went up to Hong Kong to talk to the to the principal uh, Jack and Jack Chen and, and Mei Ha. They appear to be satisfied that in fact the charges were baseless, and but await the court's decision on that. If it does if it does happen that they do go to, you know get arrested and, and charged, um, 
Will government step in and, and try to assist the um, extension or some of the uh, projects that are going up at the Nunu farm? In the no, Reef will, will have to look for another partner to do that. Honourable Premier said government will continue to source investors to continue development for the island. A collection of the latest Niwe licensed silver coins was launched last week from New Zealand Mint. SpongeBob SquarePants is becoming legal tender for Niwe. Previous headlining coins produced for Niwe is the Star Wars collection produced by New Zealand Mint. Honourable Premier Toki Talangi said he is pleased with the development with the Mint collection. Up until now, we've focused our attention all their attention basically on the European and, uh, and Russian market and the, they are now looking at the American market and the start of that was the Star Wars series, the Spongebob series. I understand that they're also looking at some other, uh, if you like, um, popular um, films and ideas that are, that are uh, interesting to to um, collectors, so that they can increase our revenues. I was I was very pleased with the fact that um, the projections for the future uh, appear to be very healthy for us in the sense that they're indicating that maybe up to two million dollars, maybe up to ten million dollars in the next two years, depending on how the series go. The third part of what we were discussing, of course, was was when they would go into China and when they would also go into India and some of the other markets that are still available to us. So I was very, very pleased. Um, it appears to me at the present moment that the business is an excellent uh, business. It's an excellent model. Um, they benefit, we benefit, um, and it's good It's good for us because we, we do require those funds to help us develop our economy, develop our infrastructure and so on, and help our people here. However, it's not just the revenue Niwe gets from the coins, but other benefits have been recognised. There's a great deal of interest generated by that, which can be translated into a tru tourism product as well. We talked about, them about the possibilities of producing coins that we can use here for Star Wars series and or uh, SpongeBob series that we can sell to tourists when they come, use it as uh, bona fide, bona fide uh, if you like, um, uh, legal tender here uh, for for tourists when they come over for our own people to use. It's a novel idea. We're going to explore that to see whether we, we will develop it further. But beyond that, uh, the promotions and marketing generally for New has been very positive. Um, the only controversial one was, was, was really the one to do with the stamps, but that was simply the perforation uh, stamp that, that most people were talking about. But that, in fact, was also an extremely popular and successful launch for New Zealand Post, which is a separate company. From December 2011, a production of run of 100,000 four-coin sets based on the Nickelodeon television character will be available to investors and coin collectors. A power shutdown today has affected internet services on the island. Internet service provider IUCN says that the power cut affected their new main link at Toa that was relocated in April this year. They currently do not have a backup generator at that location to continue services during power outages to the southern part of the island, which is something they will have to look at in the future. Therefore, IUSN advised users that internet services will be unavailable, especially if there are power outages to the southern side of the island and will return online once power is restored. The government domain was also affected until the IUSN link was restored. As for the planned shutdown, there was to repair a cross arm where the high voltage aerial is located on one of its power poles at Kaimisi started early at 6 o'clock this morning. Niwe Power General Manager Speedo Hetutu says that the Tuwila to Kaimisi area is the last remaining stretch of overhead power lines that Niwe Power is looking at eventually putting in underground cabling as part of the EDF-10 project. Niwe Power will also be carrying out further maintenance shutdowns 
next week on Thursday and Tuesday from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Departments of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries are near the end of their community visits engaging with agricultural prospects on how agriculture conditions can be improved with the help of the communities and staff. According to leading coordinator Mr Joel Makito, the concept that developed from su suggestions of members of parliament during one assembly meeting has been beneficial to the department and the communities. He said near the end of the consultations with the public, not much requests have been put through to the department for assistance, but those that showed interest will be addressed by the department. Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries is the first government department to initiate such an incentive that has been welcomed by many communities. To end our news bulletin for tonight, the new restaurant in town, Kaiika, is now open for business. For the past few weeks, it's been a matter of trying to find a mixture of dishes to cater for both local and visitors. The location is ideal and the building itself has been a variety of fine establishments tantalising the taste buds of those on the island. First, there was an Italian restaurant, then an Indian restaurant and now transformed into a Japanese-style restaurant. We went last night to check out what people can expect from Kaika. From the chef decor to the food and even the music, there is a strong Japanese influence, but there are some things that have a new way and twist. Kaika is now open in the evenings from Wednesday to Saturdays, and bookings are essential as seating is limited. That's our news bulletin for tonight. Good evening. Thank you.